I'm Dr. Saloop. I'm a gynecologist at MIMA. I'm going to be discussing an amazing surgical procedure called Da Vinci Robotic Hysterectomy. I have been doing this for quite a while now and I'm fortunate to also be a proctor teaching other gynecologists how to perform this surgical procedure. In the United States approximately 600,000 hysterectomies are done yearly which means approximately 37 percent of all women will have a hysterectomy by the age of 60. Most gynecologists in the United States usually do traditional open hysterectomy. This means that they make a large incision approximately 6 to 10 inches long like a c-section on the abdomen. The recovery is usually up to six weeks long and an inpatient at the hospital for approximately three days minimal. As far as Da Vinci hysterectomy, this was built from traditional laparoscopic hysterectomy, which I have been doing since the early 90s. Uh, it's an amazing surgical procedure, which uses minimally invasive approach. It's done with three to four tiny ports in the abdomen. The camera port is usually placed on the umbilicus, belly button, which gives us an amazing 3D high definition view. Da Vinci was named as a robotic surgery. It is a, it is a machine that the surgery is done 100% by the surgeon's hands. The Da Vinci hysterectomy has multiple benefits for the patients, including a 23-hour stay at the hospital versus a three-day as an inpatient from the traditional hysterectomy, much faster recovery, most patients return back to work within one week to ten days and completely back to normal within two to three weeks. Fewer complications, much less pain postoperatively, minimal blood loss and minimal need for transfusions, uh, less risk of injury because of the 3D view, a lot less scarring because of the tiny little incisions that we make, the great majority of the patients that I have done love the surgery because of their such a quick recovery that they have. There are many indications for da Vinci hysterectomy. Most commonly is abnormal bleeding or bleeding problems, especially after we tried minimally invasive procedures in the office like the ablation. A small percentage of these ablations do not function properly, so you end up having to have a hysterectomy. Fibroids, uh, which also can cause heavy bleeding, chronic pelvic pain, ovarian cysts that cause chronic pelvic pain, endometriosis which causes chronic pelvic pain, these are all indications for the surgery. There are many reasons for the Vinci hysterectomy, which I really enjoy the benefits for my patients. If anybody has any questions or any needs, I'll be more than pleased and happy to consult and, and, cut and take care of it for you. Thank you.